blood hag arm. All right, you guys are one two up next. Which opening are you talking about, my Archimedes? Ah, yeah, the King's Indian attack. Definitely a uh, definitely a tricky opening, and I do think that it truly annoys uh, a lot of players who play the French. <laughs> it's def definitely annoying. Also, e4, e6, queen e2. It can go into a, king, a king's Indian attack, but the way that that starts is usually... It's a good move order, I think. Queen e2. Sometimes they play d5, first of all, if they pre-move. Uh, two months from Gub. You just missed Eddie's game. Did you... Uh, do you feel like that's the reason you tune in nowadays there, uh, Distant Fire? 22 months from Distant Fire. But I probably won't make it to 23 since he just missed Eddie's game. It's kind of unfortunate. Hmm. Lloyd Cash, thanks for the 25 months there. Appreciate that, bud. LeBron, yes. Distant Fire, definitely trolling, mentioning the name LeBron. Definitely going to see uh, an, a discussion sparked. Huh. It's a strange move. I really wasn't expecting that. We'll let him play b5, I think. I think I just want to sort of shift the forces over to the uh to the king side here.
probably 95 or something. The knight would maybe like to go to d7, but it's going to have to go to a weird square here. Maybe swing the rook up, h4, h5. I'll definitely take a, I'll definitely take a pawn if you offer it. Gonna say maybe the bishop should be back, but okay, that move doesn't look like the best. Trying to like swing the rook over. It's definitely going to be at the cost of some some stuff. I am giving up some stuff. Maybe bring the rook like that. Try this. <coughs> Sean Sim, thanks for 26 months. Crazy Canuck as well. Rook f4 if he takes. On c3, I mean. I also got this rook coming down. Bishop takes g6. I think this one is nice because it goes back. And I can take here. So you can never take that guy. Because I always got rook f7. Thanks, Crazy Canuck. Four months. I'm glad you watched the YouTube in the meantime. We were trying to upload while we were in Asia. Okay, I suppose I should. That's what I would do in a bullet game, but I suppose if I have the time... GG, Anthony, thanks for the game. Close one, buddy. Okay. For sure, Frazzlety. Thank you, Colt. Looking out for me there, bud. I don't play the, uh, the main line of the this opening too often. Let's go here. I think knight g3 is the main line. But I don't, uh, I don't really like the lines with d4. I much prefer the two knights variations, so that's what I mean when I say I don't play the main lines much. 
this is not really a threat. I mean, the knight can't go anywhere meaningful, so. I have a feeling this game might end in like seven moves or something. Now it's probably going to end in like four moves. This is a very likely scenario. But also, this is coming next. The rook is being lifted. The kimono is being lifted. Yeah, like I said. You know, uh, Sean Simp, you don't have to feel that bad. I uh, I was playing Mike. So Mike McDonald was... Uh, I mean, he's playing in a tournament in Calgary here, so he's visiting for the weekend. I was playing Mike uh, some 30 seconds to 3-minute chess yesterday. Um, I had the 3 minutes, obviously, to make it fair. <laughs> um, but... I won a game also in like 14 moves with the exact same attack. Like the bottom line is that most players are used to the fact that bishop g7 always works as a as a defensive mechanism. Like rook e8, bishop f8 is the most common way to deal with an attack. But here, it simply doesn't work. And so that's why the attack is so good because the number one defensive idea doesn't work. So... Don't feel that bad, bud. Painful for sure. Don't let it happen again. Razzlety dazzlety. We had a good trip. We definitely did. It's good to be back. And uh, Monafi, one, two, three. 23 months. So close to the two years. We're going to cheers to that next month. That's like basically going to be around exactly Christmas when you get that reset. That's a nice celebration. Thank you uh, for sticking around. Coming up to two years, 23 months. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, peak to peak. We'll be, um, haven't seen us since October because of the time difference. Um, I don't, I don't think it's a time difference. Wait, Pete, you know that we took a trip, right? You know that we left for three weeks and took a trip? Because <laughs> what it's sounding like is that you think that you've just missed our streams for three weeks straight. And that it's the time difference when we actually weren't streaming for three weeks. <laughs> and I just want to cl clear that up so you don't think that you are the most like unlucky human and that the chess bra streams are just tailored so that you cannot ever see them. We know your schedule and we stream exactly around it. Fuck, Pete Two Peaks getting out of class early. Quick, boys, end the stream, wrap this up. The, the sting operation's over. Mm. Oh, castle first. Ah, yes, DF Flyer. Coming in with the new technology. I got. I can respect a guy uh, who's willing to play moves like that.
You didn't even have to say hi, Omid. You got uh, Frank handling your light work in chat, you know? It's, uh, taking care of the rabble rousers who are uh, trying to put you down, bud. Working long hours. Yeah, fair. No, Pete, we, uh, we, we did take like a three-week trip to Asia. Went to Japan, Tokyo, China. We're back now, but plans for next month would be like... Um, I mean, I'm basically going to be streaming until the 23rd of December, which is uh, a Monday. So I'll stream the last sub Sunday on December 22nd, I think. And then 23rd, I'm going to head home to Toronto um, and be with my family for for Christmas and holidays. Um, and I'll probably stay there about a week. So I'll maybe celebrate my uh, my birthday and Christmas. And my dad's birthday is also in December. So um, usually we have, you know, like, a, I don't know, it's very, a very festive time of the year. A lot of things to, to celebrate family-wise for, for my family. So, so yeah, I usually head back, spend about a week there. And then, um, then I'll probably head back to Calgary and meet up with the boys for New Year's Eve. We always, always try to connect on New Year's Eve and, um, See if I can get, see if I can uh, trick him with this move. And then after, uh, yeah, after we're back, like, we'll probably be back streaming like early January, I think. That's the plan. Peter, 22 months, as well as uh, Gianni Macaroni for seven months. What's up? What's up? Next NA against EU, I, I was mentioning that earlier on the stream, is going to be uh, next Saturday. So November 30th, mark the calendar. You met a Tinder 8 today, Omid? You met an 8 today. On whose scale? Omid meeting an 8 would be incredible to me. Can I see her, Omid? I, I was saying to Omid the other night, and I was making a, a firm point that I have probably never, like, encountered or interacted with an eight in my life, like a, a real eight. And, you know, there was a lot of opposition to that comment, but I feel that that's true for, like, a lot of people. I feel that that's true for a lot of people. Maybe they don't want to admit it or something. I don't think it's a, a weird thing to admit or if it's, I don't even think it is something to admit, but I, I just think an, an eight is like, that's, that's a strong rating. And I don't think I've really interacted with that at all. No, looks eight. I mean, when you use, when you use numbers like that, you're definitely referring to, to looks because I can't possibly, yeah. I, I just can't uh, calibrate all the possible personalities in the world and whatever. Wow. Oops, <laughs> taking there. I'm thinking like a materialistic guy. GG, thanks DFLR for the game.